Hello, welcome to Topper Machine, I'm Josh Topper. So if you saw Saturday's video, you saw me milling the angle plates on the horizontal boring mill here with this big face mill. And if you remember, it wasn't hitting 100% perfect and I didn't address that in the video and now I'm going looking back going, geez, I should have talked about that and shown how to fix that because these cutters need to be balanced and I didn't take the time to do it when I changed the inserts to do this job. So now we're gonna show you how, how to actually go about figuring out which one it is and how to fix that. So what we've got here is our handy dandy dial indicator and I don't have the right tip for this. Um, there's a, another tip you can screw in that's a larger flat. Um, it's actually got a little curvature to it. I've got some coming, but um, I've never had a problem with these before. Um, they've always been pretty good. I must just have a little chunk of dirt or something under one of them. So we're gonna find it and we're gonna do it with the indicator here. Now, if you look at the, the cutter here, it's ramped. It ramps up towards the insert itself, and that's the high point. So we're gonna actually start the indicator back here at the start of the ramp, just to touch it. So that way we can roll it around without having to worry about bumping it. And then we'll bring it right around and just watch that needle so i'm about one thou over that's my high point right there let's see if i can adjust this thing all right now we roll it to the next one Just nice and gentle. And that one's about the same. And there I went too far, let's back up. And being real gentle not to bump the indicator. That one's just about perfect. just a touch under we're not looking for minor discrepancies we're looking for that guy right there that's four four thou over so this one is our culprit I'm gonna go ahead and back that off all right I'm just gonna go ahead and take this insert out and I'm gonna try very carefully not to bump my indicator There's a little more wear on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. And I'm just gonna take some brake cleaner. And then my, I know I'm gonna get beat up for this one. Blow that out with the air hose. That'll dry out any dirt, debris, and get it out of there. Well, let's get this insert back in. So I need to back you out just a touch more. It would help if you put it in the right direction too. Yeah, I just felt it move a little bit when I backed it off, so I didn't have her seated 100%. All right, let's try this again, see if we got it. Well, now I'm about one under. I can live with that. 
because that one's a little bit warm because it was doing most of the work. Uh, one under there, maybe I bumped. Yeah, I might have bumped my indicator just a touch. Yeah, they're all pretty consistent now. That one's just a little over. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Well, I think we've made a full round. Well, there it is. Um, I could indicate off this leading edge too, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about the depth because that was giving me um, a little bit of a, a line where it was cutting deeper. So we're not gonna worry about that much, but let's go ahead, get set up, take a cut on this first uh, angle plate and see how we did. And before we get started on this, I wanna show you one more thing I did to improve my stability is I added a clamp here. So I've got my machinist jacks, in two places and then I got this clamp and this thing I mean I hear a little movement when you hit it but she is good and tight so we'll go ahead and start machining this thing Taking twenty thousandths, running forty five thousand revolution feed. That already sounds better than last time. Except now I'm getting some chatter here. I think I'm just taking too much of a bite. You need to keep the, the cuts lighter. That's a much better surface finish. And this one must have been a heck of a lot squarer than the last, the first one. Um, that was one pass and it was pretty much consistent all the way. So very happy with that. Well, I hope this quick video gave you kind of the breakdown of how to set up these face mills so they work better. Um, I wish I would have done it right away on the last one, but I was just thinking, oh, I you know, haven't had this problem before and well, I must have had a chunk of something in there because it wasn't quite right, but easy fix, just a little time with an indicator. So I hope this boring mill video wasn't too boring for all of you. And uh, with that, I'm going to finish this thing up. Until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.